This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at nuclear fusion. In nuclear fusion, lighter nuclei fuse together to form heavier nuclei, releasing energy in the process. The fusion of hydrogen nuclei are the source of the sun's energy. Deuterium and tritium undergo nuclear fusion, releasing vast amounts of energy. So here we can see the nuclear fusion reaction that takes place in the sun. We have two isotopes of hydrogen, which are deuterium and tritium. Under very high temperatures, they undergo nuclear fusion, producing helium, a neutron, and energy. Here we have the nuclear equation for the fusion of deuterium and tritium to form helium and a neutron. Nuclear equations must be balanced. The sum of the mass numbers and the atomic numbers must be the same on both sides of the equation. Deuterium and tritium are both isotopes of hydrogen. They have the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons. So on the left side of the equation we have two protons and three neutrons. Helium has two protons and two neutrons. So on the right side of the equation we have two protons and three neutrons. So here we can see we have the same number of protons and neutrons on both sides of the equation. Unlike in a chemical reaction, in a fusion reaction mass is not conserved. For example, the mass of a helium nucleus is less than the sum of the masses of two protons and two neutrons. This difference in mass is known as the mass defect. The missing mass has been converted directly into energy. Using the equation E equals mc squared, we can calculate the energy released in a fusion reaction. 